Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush Thodi and you are watching the videos from the Learnomad Technologies YouTube channel. In our today's lecture, we'll be discussing about one more important concept of Oracle Rack. We called it as a node eviction. So what is mean by node eviction? You may have already heard about this terminology, node eviction. And whenever you are going for an interview, for the oracle rack the people will ask you about what is node evictions and all those things so let's take an example we'll take one example like let's take an example you are working with some two node cluster or three node cluster so this is my first node and then this is my second node okay I'm assuming that these are my two node cluster is there. This is my two node. Two node means, so this is my first machine, which is my node one. And this is my second machine. On this node, your Oracle database instances are running, correct? So you take an example that this is my, okay, let's do one thing. I'll draw like this. Uh, I'll just do, undo okay let me do one thing let me draw the let's take an example my instance one is running over here this is my database instance one and this is my database instance two so these are my database instances are there now when we have a node one and node two this node one and node two are communicating to each other through the private interconnect right so there is a private interconnect is there interconnect or private network is there through which this my node 1 which is my instance 1 and instance 2 are sharing the information with each other now let's take an example that this interconnect is not working so node 1 and node 2 both are not able to communicate each, each other how this communication is happening this communication is happening with the help of private interconnect but now the problem is that this private interconnect is not working properly there is some problem so what will happen the node which is not able to communicate with the other node will be evicted will be evicted means this node will not be the part of your oracle rack cluster where why it is so because if they are not able to share the information each with each other and they are the part of cluster where there is a chances that we can get inconsistency integrity will not be there inconsistency will be there so to avoid this problem what will happen the node will be evicted from the cluster where so now it's a two node cluster then it will be one node so that is the reason we need to understand about the node eviction some people are thinking that whether the node eviction is good or not node eviction is good and they have designed the software in a such way that it is good for our oracle rack cluster well health only because if both are not communicating to each other you take an example let's take an example user one user one got connected to the instance one he has modified let's say he is firing some update statement he is firing some update so he is doing some update so when he is modifying some block if that modified block is not aware about the instance two and there is a user two he is also trying to make some update from this side from the instance two this is a big problem right so what he is updating he should be also aware about that the instance number two should be also aware about that so this communication is happening with the help of private network only so if their private network is not working this will cause a node eviction in the oracle rack environment second thing is you know about the voting disk right you know about the voting disk now there is a two type of networks hard bit will be there two type of hard bit will be there 
वन विल बी नेटवर्क हार्ट बीट विच इज दिस दे आर कम्युनिकेटिंग टू इच अदर एंड देन देर विल बी डिस्क हार्ट बीट now by any chance if any one of the node he is not able to do the voting under the voting disk then this node will be also removed from the oracular cluster where and it will be evicted the node will be evicted till the time it is fixing the issues let's say there is a issues related to disk hard bit and as soon as the issue get resolved the node will be again the part of your oracle rack cluster where so it can be manually also it can be automatic also there are certain situations like let's say on your node so this is my node 2 here i don't have sufficient space available you have a mount point right let's say you have a mount point called slash data you don't have a sufficient space available for your grid software maybe someone has dumped a lot of unimportant data there so what will happen the node will be evicted it will not be the part of your cluster where 